Hello everyone, FBG here. Welcome back for some more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. On the last episode, we got here to the first temple of the game. Let's head on in, just hit that crystal with the slingshot. And let's head on in. Here we are, the first temple of this game, Skyview Temple, which has probably, I think this track was the, one of the first tracks of the soundtrack to actually be leaked, which, I, and I like this song, so we cannot douse here, which, isn't that much of a difference because I never usually use it. So, let's head on down here. Just cut the spider web with if you have a sword. You can actually jump through it if you hold the Z button and then press press the controls you press the control stick forward and then press A. And more bats which aren't that annoying. I thought we could get that, but we'll be able to get that once we get the item of the dungeon. Just cut this all down. Cut that. And if you want, if you want, you can bypass this Tekubaba, and you can just shoot it. Like, can I can shoot it? I've done it before. There we go. Shoot it like that. And then you can do that. And here is one of the most unique puzzles, and one of the first puzzles to be shown off. This thing follows your sword, so we'll swing the weird remote, not swing it, waggle it, spin it in a circular motion, it will make the eye dizzy, therefore clearing this room. Very interesting puzzle, actually. I love the ambience. Go away. So, that was pretty much two Dekobabas. So, just slash this guy up. And then what you want to do is hit that. And these first two dungeons are very, very simplistic. But the third dungeon, however, isn't. <laughs> I thought you were going to say really is, but I guarantee you thought I was going to say it, but nope, not going to. So crawl under here, then use your slingshot to hit that. And that's one half of this puzzle complete. And I think it actually, f yeah, it fills up the outer room and this room and we can actually kind of like before and what the heck happened I heard a spider die oh and we can't really do anything about that yet is it possible oh this Ugh. these enemies my, it's probably my some of my least favorite enemies in the Zelda series or this game at least they're very, very annoying. Luckily, you don't really have to deal with them much. What you want to do to kill it, slash it, and then as it comes around, stab it in that, in its little core. Would you consider core? But it dies. And now we've done that, we have one half of this dungeon complete. Oh. Pretty much a quarter of the dungeon complete. So now, if you, there was a tablet in there that said to open the two rooms left and right, you, there is a jewel above and below. And that was the below gem, which opens up the other door. So now we can just head back into the main room. I love how the music changes when you're on underwater which I'm 
kind of like that. I love that little effect. And here we have a new Bokoblin, or Bokoblin enemy, which I think are just called Green Bokoblin. Not the most inventive name in the world, but what I do is hit both of these, then jump off. Okay, be sure to be sort of precise with this, because this has killed me many a times. Or has made me start this over a lot of times. So just do this. Kind of swing forward and backward. Kind of like you would do on a rope. More quadro babas, but stab it twice. And slash the web itself. Here. It should be over there, right? Yep. Just shoot this. I can do this dungeon fairly, fairly quickly. And did I kill that? Okay, I didn't kill the other one. I'm just gonna kill that. Right. Hi! Uh, what you wanna do when it's on the ground like this, just knock it over. Knock it over, and then fatal blow it like that. Oh my god. I've never had this much trouble with these. After all, I have killed them every time. What the heck happened? <laughs> he just killed over and died. Hello. How you doing? Oh. Oh. Predicting sucks. My predicting skills, they suck. Okay, there. Okay, thank God he dropped a heart. So, we'll just come out this door here. And we'll get something fairly interesting. So, open this chest. So, we now have the dungeon map. Which, there isn't much left of this dungeon, surprisingly. It also reveals treasure chest locations. And, uh, as Fa just said, yes, yes, I know. And this, in this game, the compass and the tre and the dungeon map from basically every other Zelda game have basically been combined into one in this game, which I like. Now that the water level's high, um, I thought it was high. Um, I think I can... Oh, I think I have the... Oh, yeah, 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 never mind. I don't think you can just normally climb up. You have to actually jump. There we go. There we go. And I... Oh, there are skull waltzles on here. God, I hate those. Up here, we have another door. I don't remember this being here, but... Oh yeah, I think I know where this leads. Leads here. This room here. Ow. Stabby stabby. There. Now you're dead. Thank you for that heart. So, once you... Once, oh. Um. Oh yeah. Take out your sword. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And now they die. So open this up. And if I'm correct, this is a small key? Yes. This is the only. No, second to last small key, I think. Oh, yeah, this is the other side of that other room. So now that we've done that, we can head on. And I think I might even just do this dungeon in one video and just have the boss on the other. <laughs> Actually, I'll split it up after the mini boss. Eh, yeah, kind of impractical because this dungeon is really short and I could probably do it in 20 minutes. But whatever. 
There is actually a shortcut, but I will probably... I'll show you how to get it. I'll do it off screen, though. So, let's just open this up. Here we are. Second half of Skyview Temple. Excuse me. I drank a lot of water before this recording. So, what you want to do now is shoot that crystal up there. And it will open this. So, let us head on in. I wonder what it could be. It's a door lock behind us. Here is a Stalfos, the first mini boss of this game. What you want to do is examine where he's blocking and just slash where it's not, where he's not blocking, basically. Quite easy, in my opinion. I want to see this lad. Which actually does two hearts of damage if you get caught in both of those slashes. I think he's almost dead, too. And I love this mini boss theme. Not as much as the one in Wind Waker, however. But whatever. Pretty much what you're doing here is you're hitting him so much he's breaking his spine. He has a skeleton. At wow! That was really easy. So now that he is dead. A treasure chest appears with the dungeon's unique item. The beetle! I love the beetle! Put the weird mode screen and press A to launch it in the air. Yeah. And that is our second weapon, which basically replaces the... What do you call it? Basically replaces the um, slingshot. Or in this dungeon, at least. But what you want to do is send the beetle out of this hole. You basically control it like you do the bird, or your loft wing. Then hit that crystal again. And then the door reopens. So, I'm going to end things off here. So, on the next episode of... Let's play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We will finish this dungeon. So I will see you guys next time.